You know, Tom, I haven't seen you in a mask since you went under the stage name George P. Wilbur. Who the hell is George P. Wilbur? <laughs> That's the guy who played Michael Myers in Halloween 4, the greatest movie of all time. Halloween 4? Good evening, I'm Michael Myers. <laughs> I have enormous psychological problems, I see and I'm going to take them out on you. How was school? It was great. I met a girl, Mom. Met got a girl? Yeah, her name is Lindsay, like the state. <sighs> like the, the state? Energy. There's... What? <laughs> The heck? Hey, uh, excuse me, Mr. Tucker. With I wanted to see if you would sign my DVD. Yeah. Oh, I suppose. Thanks. Hey, so what happened? How come he never did any more movies? Life after Halloween 4 wasn't exactly smooth sailing. Oh, he was supposed Once to be. Once I stepped out from behind that mask, Hollywood gave me the cold shoulder. Tay. Oh, if you guys are a family, why are none the of you shade of black? I was also coked out of my skull most of the time. The heck? But don't you miss it? Every second of every day, but I can't touch coke again. It would ruin my life. No, I mean More acting. Coke. Oh, well, you brought me so much oh. joy over the oh, years acting. as that lovable murderer of teenagers, and I want to return the favor. I don't even have an agent anymore. You don't belong here. You're better than this. You're Halloween Four better. <laughs> Look, I appreciate your offer, but I've got a pretty good thing going here. Our top story tonight: the Rhode Island Historical Society is heralding the arrival of a cast iron oak-handled colonial bedsheet warmer. What? It was very cold back then, <laughs> and it would warm the sheets. Oh, that would warm the sheets. She can't hear me. Yeah. Okay. What the hell is going on here? Yeah. Is it, is it, am, am I having a stroke? Wait, Peter, don't go! All right, Lois, remember to feed the cat, and remember to get a cat. I still don't understand why you gotta yeah, go see, all the right? way to Hollywood. Okay. Dad, can I have money for dance classes? Sit down, you dumpy bread loaf. I'd pay to see you not dance. When oh. will you be back? <laughs> Dang. I don't know, Peter. Being back out here makes me kind of nervous. Maybe this was all a mistake. Don't be silly, Tom. You're an actor, and this is where you belong. Knock on every door in Hollywood till he gets you an acting job. Yes? You need to hire this man. Oh. Okay. He's a baggage clay person. I thought the airport was Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. Oh, Lindsay, I told you about? Well, I asked her out, and now we are dating. Lindsay? She's just like Lois. This is my mom. You are gorgeous. Yeah, it does Plus, she's Lindsay. awful pretty. I know that, mom. Very pretty. <laughs> In fact, I thought that was All Lois at first, Hollywood not paying attention. Except for, like, why is Lois have a big one right of them. That's why I got these old Lois got a secret glasses. daughter. I'm not sure what any of this has to do with getting me Why does it look like full potatoes? Now, who's the agent there? here? Maybe you are. And who's the actor? Well, I am. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice your glasses, your poor table manners, and your huge sense of entitlement. Are you an agent? I am. Show up here at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, snap. How about that, huh? It Tom, works. back in the business. Wow, Peter, I can't believe it. <laughs> you know, Lindsay, I just want to say how nice it is to have such a beautiful young woman in our home. Oh, oh dang. baby. I almost had one of you twice. Lois, don't you think maybe part of the reason you like Lindsay could be because she looks so much like you? Yeah. <laughs> What are you talking about? Chris has a wonderful young woman in his life, and you've got nothing. He's kind of right, Ryan. <laughs> All you've got is a worn-out rope toy. A worn-out rope To your toy. first big TV acting job. Name's Mario. You got any idea where he could be? I haven't seen him in over a month. You son of a bitch, you made me feel again. <laughs> hey, number <laughs> butts. James, James Woods. But I, I, I don't understand. Yeah. I, I thought you were dead. Last time we saw you, Diane Simmons had just stabbed you in the back with a knife. Yeah, yeah. how the hell did you come back to life? He hey, is acting. this guy somebody? Yeah, that's James Woods. We got a celebrity here. I repeat, this is not a normal dead person. This is a celebrity. I was hooked up to a 17-year-old ingenue. What Her the life heck? force was infused yeah. into me, bringing me back from the dead. I don't get it. Why would the you like you want me for an agent? Because you're an up-and-comer. Because you're hungry. You're I'm hungry. hungry. Relax, I can take care of your boat. You'd be surprised how much I can handle. I need you to drop Stewie off at daycare and then shred this big stack of old bank statements. Kevin made another attempt on his life last night. Well, we have some news too. Chris is dating the most wonderful girl. Oh my god. Oh, snap. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, she kind of looks like you, Lois. That girl is nothing but trouble. Are you gonna tell Chris? I guess I'll have to. But he doesn't take bad news very well. Well, we need to see a script. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, looks good. All right, then let's negotiate. We want everything. We'll <laughs> he give said you looks nothing. good. We want something. Deal. deal. You know, about something. that meeting you set up with me and Heath Ledger, he he never showed. Oh, Maybe no. I was at the wrong Panda Express. Anyway, uh, call me back. Panda Express? Wait, take this piece of paper. Peter Griffin drops Tom Tucker as a client. <gasps> you're, you're dropping me as a client? I wish I could help you, Tom, but this is coming from upstairs. The karate studio? 
Tom, I have to go now. <laughs> but if you'll have a Kevin James, I want you to give me a call. 2 a.m. Yeah, so listen, I'm at Chateau Marmont. I just met this 18-year-old chick, and I can't decide whether to take her home. Just tell me if you think she's hot enough. Oh. I, I, what is this a picture of? Is, is that the bottom of a white pumpkin? The bottom Chris, of a white pumpkin? Honey, there's something I want to talk to you about. Can't believe you knew about this. That's terrible. Oh, yeah, she knew Why about it. Oh, he did? Her like that? Well, because I... I thought she'd be like you. So I guess I figured uh, if I don't find a girl just like you, I might never find anyone. Oh, Chris. Now I'm going to take the child filter off the computer and I want you to have a fun night. Hey, have a good time. Why are you doing that? Peter, this is probably a good time to fire you. What? Uh -oh. But you're my only client. Without you, I'm ruined. Well, that's show business. Now, if yeah. you excuse me, I have to answer this fake phone call. Hello? Hey, Tom. Yeah, you shouldn't have done Tom. How you doing? Yeah. James Woods fired me. Listen, I was a real jerk to you. I you was just it? trying to help. I never wanted to let you down. Well, I suppose your only crime is that you believed in me. Hey, check out this picture James Woods texted me. What is that? A balloon running out of air? Yeah, see, I was hoping you would know. <laughs> Tom, I think I speak for all of us here at Channel 5 News when I say it's good to have you back here at half your original salary. Still twice yours, Joy. Oh, well, I'm just it's it's still it's twice yours. Right? But I'm sorry I missed meeting your girlfriend, Chris. That's okay, Dad. Okay, what else we got on that train? A kitty cat! A doggy! Kevin Smith, because he's too fat to ride a plane! Yay! Oh. He's a good singer! Yeah, I've been catching his library shows since there were only like three or four kids here. Oh, <laughs> looks like somebody made a friend. I know. This is my husband, Ben. Hi, glad to know you. Gosh, you glad know, our little Scotty seems to be having such a good time with your son. Stewie, do you want to be the Autobots or the Decepticons? Autobots, Decepticons, gay, straight, just pick a few robots and let's party. He doesn't know Transformers. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I'd love to play. Who should I be? Should I be one of these guys? I'll, I'll be this guy. Who's this guy, huh? Uh -oh. Relax. I, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll be this guy over here. That's He-Man. <laughs> it's well, not a Transformers. Maybe this is the one where He-Man <laughs> visits. You don't know the characters, Brian. You don't know the characters. See, if you could hear yourself right now, you would not stop throwing <laughs> up. You can't just put He-Man in Transformers world. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, I'm getting some steam. Picking up steam here, Scotty. You better look out. I don't feel so well. Oh, snap. Uh -huh. Peter, what oh. happened? Yeah, you know me, Lois. I don't cry. Peter, he's not moving. Yeah, he don't oh, cry. No. To the hospital. It's like he had like, a big reaction to something. In fact, his lab work shows he's suffering from Hodgkin's lymphoma. I don't know. I didn't read the whole Wikipedia entry, what but the, the good heck? news is that what he has is highly treatable. Scotty has cancer. We know. You shouldn't have brought him to the hospital without talking to us first. Whoa. We're Christian scientists. <gasps> we don't accept medical care. Don't you understand? Scotty needs help. I think there's a lot of religions uh, that do that. Whew. Well, that may be, babe, but that one. poor little baby has cancer, Ooh. and they're just gonna take him home and pray over him? If you die tomorrow, you think we're gonna be devastated, but you know what? We're just gonna go out and buy another dog. And maybe this dog will fetch oh. a stick and Dang. bring in my slippers. I have to go talk to the Jennings and ask them to reconsider getting treatment for Scotty. I'm going with you, Lois. Yeah, I'll go too. <laughs> oh, Lois, Peter, come on in. We were just praying for Scotty's recovery. If you'd like, you can join us. You really needn't worry, Lois. Scotty will get all the help he needs. From where? Oh, no. From here. Oh, really? So with this book from the 1800s, you can pray away paralysis or terminal illness? Yes, we would pray for anyone who's afflicted. Look, I'm a churchgoer too, but sometimes prayer isn't enough. He needs professional medical care. Um, does your god also not believe in putting out snacks for the guests? Come on, Lois, I think we're snack, time here. They're obviously very committed to their beliefs. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is there are no laws that say those people have to take their child to the yeah, doctor? Yeah, I know. It's How can crazy. That be? Children are citizens too. How could we live in a country that would allow a sick child to die? Because we allow could them. could contribute to, to the policeman's ball. Want. We're really more yeah, of he a about ball to the ball. Oh, yeah, ball. the firemen going to come and put out the rape? Uh -huh, I don't know about that, Peter. Kidnapping is against the law. It's too bad we're not taken from taken. Us going in there and taking <laughs> that kid and getting him some help. I mean, I know it's wrong, but it's better than just letting him die. And it's not a bad idea. Oh, hey, now, gosh. what the hell? Where's your ski mask? It's, so it's kind of hard to Potter. breathe in those things, so I just dressed up like Harry Potter. <laughs> what, why, why would you dress like somebody? <laughs> oh, because it's dark clothing, so he figured oh, that would work. <laughs> this boy oh, Peter is a funny. trip, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, but Chris, I guess he ended up knowing the old girl was cheating on him anyway. Yeah, I guess uh, so, but he just was like, well, 
you like, know, he's whatever. a good girl, I guess. You know, yeah. but yeah, man, it was a bunch of funny clips mm-hmm. of her, man. Just had us dying. But we're in this video. It's your man, Moy B. And a goal. We'll catch you on the next day. Awesome. Peace, love. Bitch.